What's up? Welcome to another rendition of the Amanda and Rich Show, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite note-taking app, which is Notability. So I have tried so, so many apps um, in terms of note-taking. You know, I spent like $10, $20 on an app, um, and I've come down to one app, which is, again, Notability. Um, and the reasons why I love this app so much is because um, it works, it syncs with all your devices, such as your MacBook, your iPad, your iPhone. It also is compatible with the Apple Pencil, and it has the capability of recording your lectures and syncing your notes with whatever was recorded at that time. And I'll get into that in a little bit more detail and a little bit later on in the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So, some notable things to note about Notability. I did not think I was going to say that sentence, but I said it. We're moving on. <laughs> so one, um, it's only for uh, Mac products, such as the iPhone, iPad, and MacBook and MacBook Pro. Um, it's not on PC, but if you are on PC, um, sorry, and you can look at the app called uh, OneNote by Microsoft and that's something comparable. So number two, it's about $10. Sometimes you can get it on sale for about five. Um, you do have to purchase it separately from the iPad version to the laptop version. Those are two separate products and they're each going to be about five to $10 um, depending on the sale that's going on. So definitely look out for that. So what makes this app so special? So it's basically like an, a virtual folder. It has dividers, categories, and then um, a section for your notes. So it's very, very simple. Um, it works great. And you're able to draw and write uh, text as if it was a Word document. So the ability to be able to go back and forth um, between using the pencil and using your maybe keyboard um, is super, super powerful because, you know, not all lectures are going to be just all words. Some of them are going to be, um, you know, uh, maybe like math, maybe you take a couple notes, verbal notes, but then you got to draw. So that ability to take your pencil um, and draw whatever you got to do um, and then go back to t uh, typing um, can A, definitely save you a lot of time um, and B, is versatile. Because if you were to think about it, um, yeah, you could do that all with a regular notebook. You can write and draw and whatever, but typing is so much faster and it's going to save you time and you're not going to get um, kind of lag behind because you were trying to copy down, you know, X, Y, Z. So when you're typing, um, that's a fact, it is faster. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with, um, you know, writing, you know, from an, a notebook. Um, there are studies that prove that, you know, it helps your brain retain the information better when you do write down the information. But I think that all has to do with your concentration and your focus on, um, you know, actually thinking through the process of writing, thinking about what you're writing down. When you are typing, it is a little bit, you know, more mindless, but if you stay focused, if you stay concentrated, I think you can achieve the same benefits. So coffee of the day is cappuccino. So just in case you were wondering, cappuccino. So this bad boy right here is the tablet I use. This is the iPad Pro. It is huge. It's bigger than my face. It's basically the size of my torso, um, but we'll get into that a little bit more later. What are we doing now? What are we doing now? So now what I'll do is I guess I'll show you guys the app, um, kind of the, the main features of it. Um, let's get to it. All right, so let's get into the app. So let's open up Notability. So main things to start off, you have two things. Um, if you go to the plus sign on the top left, create subject and create divider. So the subjects go inside dividers. So for example, if we go over here, um, and our divider is called boundless, and we have subjects called psychology in that subject. And then here on the right side, we have our notes. Um, I only have one note, but you can have as many notes um, as you want within each subject. So you can really get organized within this um, app. So let's go ahead and create a note. And to create a note, all you gotta do is go to the top right, um, pen and paper, click on that. Um, and if we click on this, we can name our note essentially anything we want. So we're going to name it, you know, notes test. So you click done, and that's your new note name. So to start off, there's a different colors. You can make the paper. Um, and to access that, you can just click on the wrench on the top right and click paper. Um, we can make it white, yellow, purple, mint color, uh, a little red pinkish, uh, cardboard, or I don't know, with cork color or something. Um, brown, black, purple, gray. Um, there's a whole bunch of colors you can choose from. So, and we can also change the type of lining on the paper. And by that, I mean you can have either just lines spaced out like this, or 
we can increase the lines um, or make them a little bit bigger. So maybe if you were, you know, take really big, if you have really large handwriting, you'd want to use this or use that for whatever reason. You also have bar graph um, lining here, and you can also change the size of the bar graph. But note, you cannot customize it. You can only use these four templates. So we're going to stick with this line um, template here and have it spaced out a little bit small. So again, I'm using the Apple Pencil, and I don't have the best handwriting, but I'll show, try and show you an example of how it writes. So I'll write notes, test. And that's pretty much how my handwriting looks if I were to take out a pen and paper and write notes test. That's exactly how my handwriting would look. So in terms of accuracy and in terms of responsiveness, it gets a 10 out of 10. It is super accurate. It's just like writing on a pen and paper. The only difference is the feeling um, of with the Apple Pencil on the iPad glass. It's a little bit different. It, gets, it takes a little bit of time to get used to, um, but other than that, the responsiveness and how accurate it is is really on par to how it would be with a regular pen and paper. So we have um, about five options up here. Um, the T stands for text. So if you wanted to write notes, you would be able to write whatever you want. So again, we're writing notes, I guess nest this time instead of test. Um, and you can make this as pretty much customizable as you want. You can change the color. You can make it bold, italicize it, underline it change the font, change the sizing of that font. And you can either make, you can even use bullet points um, if you want, either numbered or just regular old bullet points. Um, and I love to use bullet points to take notes. So the main function of the pencil is this drawing um, section right here. You can change the color of it. You have um, a lot of different color options and you can either change the thickness and if you want it to be um, pressure sensitive. So first I'll just show you kind of what I mean by pressure sensitive. So there's two options here. This is not pressure sensitive and the right one is pressure sensitive. So we select green and we go tap very lightly on the glass. You can see it comes out very thin, but if we now press a little bit harder on the glass, it comes out thicker. So as you can see, this one right here is definitely thicker than the top one. And the top one again is the one I press lightly with. So you can also change how thick you want the writing to be. This is the thickest it can go. Um, and this right here is the thinnest it can go. So the highlighter is um, a highlighter. You can choose how thick you want it to be and what color. Um, and it just overlaps whatever you wrote. Definitely great to point the stuff out. Um, some trick you can do is you can add layers to the highlighter and it will become noticeably uh, more bright and thicker the more layers you add. So the most distinct function of it, like I said before, is this part right here, the microphone. Right now it is recording, so if I were to be taking notes, and let's say this is you know 10 seconds into the lecture, and I wanted to know what I wrote about right here, and let's say I don't want to go back and listen to the whole entire thing, I could just use this to figure out at what point I um, heard this part of the lecture. So this right now is recording and let's say I'm writing, I'm writing. I imagine those are all words. So I stop the recording, I go down and I use the thumb and I want to know what was being said right at this point of lecture it will automatically jump to that part of the lecture. It will play back what was playing when I was writing that specific note. So that's an awesome, awesome function. So all these notes sync via iCloud um, within your devices. You can also share them via Dropbox, Google Drive. You can upload them, or if you wanna tweet them for whatever reason, you can. You can print them, you can put them up to iTunes, especially if you have an audio file, and you can email them. So you can also back them up with Google Drive as well. So you can definitely share with your friends your notes um, and send them your notes very, very easily. So yeah, overall, this is my favorite app to take notes with just because it's so versatile. I can go from typing text to drawing to highlighting to, again, typing text very, very easily. And especially with the recording aspect of it, it's very, very useful and comes in handy a lot. So this, in opinion, is the best note-taking app among all of them that are out there. I hope this preview kind of showed you 
what it was like using the Notability app, its pros and its cons. So if you like this video, definitely leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these types of videos uh, with me comparing apps, definitely leave a comment below and let me know um, that's something you want to see. On that note, definitely subscribe to get those videos sent to you when those videos are uploaded. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your time and I will catch you later.